Today we're going to be talking about an American landscape painter named George Ennis. Do you know what a landscape is? First, can you say that word with me? Landscape. Do you want to say it again? Landscape. Okay, so there's a clue. In the word landscape, you could actually pull out the word land. And that's a clue to what a landscape is. A landscape is a painting of land, a painting of the outdoors. So if you went outside, maybe in your backyard or in a park, and you looked around, what would you see? Say, if you looked down at the ground, what would you see? Maybe dirt? Did anyone say rocks or soil or grass? Yes, and I know I see my flowers back here. You might see flowers. Now also, anything else that you might see? Did anyone say bushes or trees? Maybe a tree with the trunk going up, up, and the branches that went out. And that might actually lead us up to the sky. So if you look up at the sky, what do, do you see in the sky? You see any clouds? Did anyone say clouds? And what color is the sky? Maybe blue? What if it was storming? What color would the clouds be? Kind of gray and dark. And what if it was nighttime? What would the sky look like then? Oh, maybe we would see stars? Or the moon? That's right. So a landscape is a painting of the outdoors. And George Ennis also loved to paint people in his landscapes. He liked to portray how much he loved nature and other people's love for nature. And the painting that we are going to be looking at now is called Sunset. Let's take a look. Let's first take a moment to look at the painting titled Sunset by George Innes. Remember that this painting is a landscape. So I bet you're noticing natural objects on the ground and in the sky. What do you notice? Did anyone say trees? Do you see trees up close and also far away? And yes, I see people in the field and some animals. What kind of animals are they? They are sheep. You are right. So some of the animals are also far away, like the trees are. And then I see one of the sheep that's up close. Now nearby the sheep, do you notice anyone? Do you see the people in the painting? How many people are there? Let's count them. One, two, three. There are three people. I see that two of them are closer to the sheep. Do you see the taller person is holding the little person's hand. What is the child in blue looking at? Yes. It looks like she is, or he is looking at the sheep. Do you notice anything about the people that is interesting? Now, what about on the ground? I also see the grass in the field. And do you see any flowers? Do you notice those large rocks over by the trees? How many are there? Let's count those. One, two, 
three and four. There are four. Now looking up at the sky, what do you notice about the sky? Do you see the sun? Where is the sun? What color is the sun? And what color is the sky? Right, it's not blue. There are pinks and oranges because remember, the sun is setting. It's going down for the day. Okay, what about the clouds? Are the clouds white or are they different colors? So if the sun is setting, what time of day is it? Is it morning time? Or is it time to eat lunch in the middle of the day? Or is it evening time at the end of the day? So we can tell from looking at the sun from where it's located in the painting and knowing the title of the painting is sunset, that it's the time when we would eat dinner and brush our teeth and get ready for bed. So we know that it's evening time. Do you notice anything else about the painting? Share it with the grown up or the other people that are around you.